four Singaporean YouTube sensations combine their online star power and stage the Let Down Your Hair kind of concert called Sweet and Sour Pop. Performing to over 100 people in the audience at the old Parliament House, the YouTube stars each did their thing. Sammy D crooned velvety ballads with his guitar, while t Zaya, you wouldn't think he's a rapper from the first look, wowed with his motormouth performance. Campus superstar alumnus Chen Yuan brought the house down with his rock star stage persona, and Benjamin Ham belted crisp top 40 English and Mandarin tunes. They have altogether over 2.5 million combined views on YouTube. So how did these four boys end up working together? Me and Yi Yuan uh, started out with this um, this idea. We discussed, then um, we went to research. Like we asked our friends whether Sammy D or Noah Yap is is much more like famous lah in Singapore or friendly in, in terms of everything. Um, all of them chose uh, chosen Sammy D. We started to have you no, know, just have some brain idea that we want to do it to, to collaborate with YouTube uh, sensation even to campus superstars. So what we did was finding uh, Desire and even uh, Sammy D because they are they are now in pop very um, sensations. For Desire, I I love his rap. That's why uh, me and Yi Yuan decided to call them in lah. However, all four of them started their journey differently on YouTube. Well known for his comedic So Singaporean YouTube videos, which have garnered over a million hits in total, Sammy D, or Sam Driscoll, took a turn when he uploaded his first music cover, I'm Yours, two years ago. I did comedy on YouTube and now I'm slowly trying to switch to music, uh, because it's what I love to do. So it's just tried it out and just um, see what happened from there. It's bad enough to slap your mom, but then you post it on the net. 15-year-old To Yifan, who goes by his stage name Tizaya or the SG rapper, also gained notice through YouTube after his rap on the Adelin Jose Bo incident gained over 110,000 views. From first glance, you wouldn't think that Yifan was a rapper. So how did he get into rap? This is a story that I've told many times before. Uh, last time I used to do poetry and then uh, when I got into secondary school, I, I heard rap music uh, like Eminem and Acorn and all those things, but Eminem is the main one that inspired me because of all his like rhymes and it just it's like something like poetry, but it's a cooler version. So I decided to try it out. Then uh, it worked really well. I mean, the accent was natural. It, it just came the American accent, so that helped me as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Has anyone said, been surprised that you rap or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know I don't look like a rapper. I mean, but uh, it's it's like. It's not all about looks, I guess, and when you can really do it well, people get really surprised and they look up to you even more than if you look like a rapper and, yeah. And what about you? Do you have any plans to become a bigger part of SG's music scene? Um, right now, I'm working on some original stuff, so um, just hopefully finish them all, put them on YouTube and just see what happens from there. So what's next for the boys? And do any of them have plans to go into a full-time music career? Um, actually, no, because in Singapore, if you really want to make it right, quite hard lah. Unless you're very talented, like I think Ifan got the got a chance. I'm currently um, working now, so next year I'll be um, studying in uh, audio engineering school, and I I, I want to take audio engineering as my career next time. Uh, to me, I'm going to finish my NS. After that, I'll be going on Taiwan because. I have some contact with uh, a music, music, you know, OB, OB Music Forest, Hai Ding Yu because I'm more on the th- Chinese pop. So in a way, I'm going, I'm going into C pop myself. So after my, after my NS, I'll be going on to pursue my, uh, my career life. I just have an idea, you see, just want to, because we guys really have passion for singing and even to perform. So to us, really have, if we have chance, definitely we'll grab this opportunity, you see. I'm probably going to like try overseas or something, yeah. So you do have plans to try overseas for a career, is it? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I haven't thought it out yet, but that's what I intend to do. Um, I'm going to keep posting videos and hopefully one will get me like recognized in the States or something. And i uh, also join like as many competitions as we can because uh, it never hurts to join a competition. Even if you lose, you just lose. Uh, but if you win, wow, something good comes about. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just, like what Ifan said, keep posting videos. Um, uh, hopefully collaborate with other YouTubers like Ifa and some other guys and just slowly get um, slowly build the my career from there and just 
um, just hopefully next time get an album, get recognized and um, things like that. So, will we see the sweet and sour pop collaboration again anytime soon? We're going to do a new version itself. That means we're going to do a next series of sweet and sour pop. Because this, this, this uh, sweet and sour pop will not end because we are going to get in more talents like, um, like 1999, 1998 and 1997 talents and start to groom them in a way, you see. For more on local YouTube talent concerts Sweet and Sour Pop, check out our other clips.